I'm Udit Shay. I'm the MD and CEO of Transtadia, India's leading sports and sports infrastructure company. I think everybody has access to technology today on their fingertip. So everyone's informed and so we need to give everybody everything at the drop of a hat and everyone's impatient. So the technology has to be robust, fan engagement has to be absolutely exciting. They should be able to take a selfie in the stadium, post it on Facebook, get in touch with their friends, comment about it, have a chat about it, win prizes. You know, that's very important and tech is not just the broadcast bit, right? It's the whole engagement bit. So I think that's very important for, I think, uh, sport to take it to the next level. You know, getting in touch with your favorite players, getting in touch with coaches, tweeting with them, you know. Today you can you can give a gali to a player without having his phone number, you know, that's that's the advantage that uh, tech has evolved into and I think that's what people like, everything's becoming more earthy. Over the uh, next few years, how do you see engagement with sports uh, changing? I think the maximum engagement will continue happening in the stadium and on TV. So these are the two areas which just need to keep evolving. Getting bums on the seats is one bit, but actually keeping them there, getting them to um, feel the game, feel like they're on the pitch. Today, a lot of the stadium infrastructure is very dated. So if you look at an ISL game, people are 25 meters from the edge of the pitch. If you see NBA, they're at the edge of the court. So we need to get that fan experience, feeling that they are there. On television, I think people have a very short attention span. So if a four is hit, they'll change the channel to see what else is happening. So how do you keep them on that channel? So they've got to come up with a more engaging activity so that the second screen, which is their mobile phone or whatever that they're on, they continue to be focused on the game. So I think these two paradigms are very important. How will uh, uh, you know sports infrastructure change uh, given this new digital consumption pattern? I think um, Europe has already scripted it. Japan is scripting it for the future Olympics that they're going to go after. So I think um, the whole idea of virtual reality, I think that's going to come into fan engagement in a stadium. Stadium is no longer just about sitting. You've got to have the best concessions, the best bathrooms, clean, secure. Even if a suicide bomber goes in with a van, only one bit of the stadium should be affected. You know, there are many guidelines today. For example, in one stadium alone, I was mentioning it in frames, 44 kilometers of Wi-Fi cabling goes on just so that people can get connected. So this is the level of planning that has to go in and not just build something so people come and leave. So two things that Indian sports fans can look forward to in, uh, uh, in the coming year. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's going to be um, the launch of our stadium. We are building a fantastic facility in Ahmedabad. And I think um, the other bit which I think is going to be fantastic this year is the way Kabaddi is taken off. I think they are getting sports science into the sport and fans are going to be able to get the actual data behind where sports is going. So I think that's very exciting. Rate your Fiki frames experience on a scale of 1 to 10. That's a very bad question to ask. You know, it's a die if you do, die if you don't. So it's a good experience. I've had a, um, I've, I've learned a lot by meeting a lot of people and um, hopefully sports will occupy a much better position over here. So on a scale of 1 to 10, you can definitely rate it as a 9 or a 10. Okay, and what are you going to walk away with? More contacts, more people, more networking. And I think that's something that I really enjoy. 